should the NFL have a draft lottery? They got jealous of the NBA getting all that attention since they're the ones who are the masters of turning off season events into things. Do you think the NFL should have a draft lottery kind of lit Twitter on fire yesterday? Okay. So Trevor Lawrence in two years comes up. You're going to have two or three or four teams tanking. Maybe Mm. do you have a coin flip? Do you have to do something? Do teams blatantly tank in the NFL? Not really. I mean, it, it seems like it's harder to do that in the NFL. You could do something, play your rookies. Yeah. The Dolphins, people think might be tanking. I would be okay with a lottery. I I, I think it's fun. And, and I think, and I know that I, I got criticized a little bit yesterday when I said, you know, maybe this is the end of tanking because you didn't have the top three teams who were tanking. Uh, end up winning the lottery. And and what was pointed out to me is, well, what happens when you've got three or four really good players that are coming out of high school or college and then teams can tank knowing they're going to get one of those three? That's true. Yeah, I, you, I guess you can say that, that you can tank and you're going to you know probably be guaranteed one of these great picks. But they, look at the teams this year. You didn't get, you know, Cleveland and Phoenix didn't get R.J. Barrett or John Morant. Yeah, they went down to five and six. So yeah. I don't think that's a good criticism of your argument. Although I, so you do think teams will tank still in the NBA? Yeah, it depends on who's available. But you know, Zion was the unicorn here. Of you know, that, that was where everybody looked at it and said, "We got to have him. How do we get him?" And you know, the Knicks trading off Porzingis, and then you were watching them at the end of the year. You had no idea who that roster was. You know, Cleveland. Barely recognizable as well. Phoenix, though, did play their players. Uh, Phoenix had a, a weird season. Didn't they beat the best teams? Like, they weren't very good, but when they were good, they were really good. Yeah, McLovin. Yeah, well, you're the only one who watched. So you yeah, have to I inform us on this. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> they I, did play their players, so they didn't tank. They just... It felt like they beat the best teams in the West. Yeah, Paul. Don't you think it'd be bad for the NFL to change their draft structure? Because their draft structure ensures that everybody has excitement or relevancy going into the next season. There's always 20-plus teams that can make the playoffs. The one great thing about the NFL, you never go into a season f- thinking, we have no shot to make the playoffs. And if you if you are one of those teams, the, the great part about your season is, we got a top-five draft pick, we got new young stars. So like the, the teams that stink always have the draft to look forward to. But imagine guaranteed. if you had Clemson's quarterback, Trevor Lawrence, coming out, and you had a lottery with – the top five to seven teams and they put them in the hopper. Oh, that'd be pretty good. I mean, that show was really good uh, last two nights ago. That was a really fun TV. Yeah. There was good drama in there. And then if you have Lawrence in there, you have, you know, the top five guys who were in there uh, and you know, who could go number one, I think it would be fun. I mean, I, I enjoyed it. I I thought it was great drama there with what happened with the lottery. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune in to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV. Stream for free on BR Live or download the Dan Patrick Show app.